Good morning, everyone. I'm Ariane Aramira with your Fast Cast Digital Headlines for this Wednesday. Taking a look at today's top stories that we are following, another pedestrian was hit by a vehicle Tuesday afternoon. Anchorage police say a woman was crossing Benson Boulevard near Dawson Street around 3.45 p.m. when she was hit by a GMC Sierra. The woman was taken to the hospital. Her injuries are believed to be life-threatening. The charges have been filed, and the driver of the Sierra is cooperating with police. Now, this adds to an already record-breaking number of vehicle pedestrian accidents. Some of them deadly. It's forcing city leaders to find a way to make things safer. That was a key issue at last night's assembly meeting. Members voted to make October Pedestrian Safety Month. The resolution designates the month and calls for the state and the city to lower speed limits, increase traffic enforcement, and improve traffic design, all in an effort to reduce pedestrian deaths. 13 people have been killed while walking in Anchorage this year, with six of those this month alone. Just this month, Fish and Game has had at least half a dozen reports of moose getting things tangled in their antlers. Fishing gear and even trick lanes are just a few of the things that bull moose have managed to get into. Biologists say it's the time of year when moose rub their antlers on objects to prepare for the rut. And keeping these animals safe and tangle-free is everyone's responsibility. Here's Corey Stantorf with the Department of Fish and Game. In urban anchorage, those things that moose will rub their antlers on include dip nets, buoys, swing sets, zip lines, soccer nets, and we start seeing moose end up with objects in their antlers or physically stuck to an area where they can't get free. Fish and Game says to put away objects that could entangle moose and to report any sightings of entangled moose to them right away. And Anchorage can celebrate as the city is just days away from a brand new skate park that will feature Alaskan designs. That is on top of features like ramps and rails to make the park accessible to all skill levels. Now, this will be the newest and largest skate park in Anchorage. The Taku State Park grand opening is this Sunday at 2 p.m. And that location is 8200 Stormy Place. Those are your fast cast digital headlines for this Wednesday. I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau. Have a great day and thanks for watching.